Hey guys, Aaron Cybertron Zeng here, and today I'm back with another episode of Road to Ranked, where I climb the online VGC 16 ladder and provide live commentary as I go. We featured a new team revolving around Mega Sceptile, Clefairy, uh, and Kyogre and Rayquaza in the last episode. This one was built by Hibiki. If you didn't check out his YouTube channel after the last episode, definitely check it out. Linked in the description below. Huge thank you to him for allowing me to use it. We're going to find Arturo from Mexico to kick off the episode immediately. As always, if you enjoy Road to Rank, please share your support by leaving a like in the video. would really appreciate it. I'm doing my best to really learn as much as I can with the team, and we've got a fun matchup immediately here. Arturo's running Groudon, Kyogre, Salamence, Mon Wild Crobat and Amoongus, so no Trick Room user on the Dual Primal team, which is kind of odd, you know, normally we see Cresselia or Bronzong, uh, shouldn't say Trick Room uh, user, more like, you know, Cresselia for speed control. Meanwhile, my opponent only has Tailwind as a potential means of speed control, which is definitely interesting. Um, really no reason to bring Scizor here. I did confirm that Zapdos actually has Hidden Power Water, not Hidden Power Ice, which is pretty good information to know. Um, I kind of like Zapdos, Kyogre... Rayquaza Sceptile here. Yeah, I want to bring both Sceptile and Rayquaza because Rayquaza, of course, gives me the switch in into Kyogre. Um, and Clef. Clef's not bad here, but I want to go full offense. So, I think it's a pretty strong combination, but, uh, you know, we did lose, lose the second match of the first episode uh, with this team against Dual Primals. A really close game, but now I know that Grass Knot should do at least over 50% to uh, Groudon, which is a big deal. So, going to lead with Zapdos and Kyogre, so I have a lot of water pressure immediately with Kyogre uh, and the Rayquaza switch in. Uh, we're going to see Crobat and Salamence, which is not too bad here. Uh, however, my opponent could go straight for like a Hyper Voice, which is scary. Or, excuse me, a Super Fang Double Edge onto Kyogre. Uh, it's probably the play I fear the most. I don't have HP Ice, so I can't go for the Hidden Power. He probably has the Dual Primals in the back. Um, I could also just like Thunderbolt Ice Beam, but if he goes for the Super Fame play, that'd be really bad. And last time I lost because I took so much damage with Kyogre. Uh, I can set up my own Tailwind as well. Hmm. Uh, Crobats don't carry Protect very often, they're going to Super Fang or want a Tailwind, so I also could Protect and Thunderbolt the Crobat, but if that's the case, uh, he could get a free switch in. Mm. I'm going to Tailwind and Protect. Oh, Solomon switches out, okay, that's fine into Kyogre. So maybe trying to take a hidden power there. Uh, I would say that probably works out more in my favor than anything because, I mean, we're probably going to see a Tailwind coming of Crobat. If Crobat doesn't Tailwind here, I'm in a really good position. It could Taunt as well. Um, I assume we're just going to match Tailwinds here. So interesting to see the Kyogre switch in into his Aptos. And we do see the Tailwind come out, yeah. So I'm okay with that. Uh, we match Tailwinds, but now there's less offensive pressure. I guess uh, his... Kyogre could still have something like, uh, Kyogre could ha have something like Thunder. So now we have an interesting, uh, turn here because you could actually switch your Crobat out into the Groudon. Although that's not a very good play. Yeah. Uh, we'll probably want to see a Super Fang come out. I think I'm just going to Thunderbolt Kyogre here and still Origin Pulse. Yeah. And... I mean, I guess you could switch Kyogre out into Groudon. Maybe I should have Ice Beam there then. We'll see. I also don't know who's faster. He does withdraw Kyogre. It is going to be Groudon coming in. Could have switched out into Rayquaza there too, but that would have been a little bit risky. Not very happy about that though, since he's going to get a Super Fang off. Uh, could still make the switch into Rayquaza next turn though. Yeah, good play by my opponent. You just go for Super Fang onto Kyogre, probably. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to Thunderbolt Crobat here. Do I want to switch out? 
could just Ice Beam. I might just Thunderbolt Ice Beam here. Uh, maybe that wasn't the best play. Yeah, he's going to Super Fang again onto Zapdos this time. <laughs> Actually get the Static, which is kind of funny. Oh, he's Lumberry. Uh, not much of a surprise. That's And he procs my Citrus Berry here too. So I went for the Ice Beam because if I outspeed, then I, mean, I think he might go for a Fire-type attack here. Thunderbolt actually doesn't pick up the knockout there. He goes for a Rock Tomb, wow. Doesn't pick up the knockout. Does a lot of damage, though. So I could have switched out into Rayquaza and Origin Pulse. Or I actually got for the Hidden Power Water. <laughs> but, it's okay. Now you Super Fang, maybe Precipice Blades. Hmm. Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to protect Kyogre here and sack Zapdos. Yeah. So now I get the free switching into Rayquaza. Uh, I really wish, like, the Groudon switching a couple turns ago was really uh, obvious, though. Wish I predicted that better. Yeah, he actually does go for the Super Fame Precipice Blades play, which is good. So I do eliminate Crobat from the field. Uh, however, now my opponent does get a free switch in into Salamence, which is bad. Yeah. Ugh, switching into Rayquaza there would have might have been nice. We'll see. I mean, I think you definitely switch into Salamence here. If he switches in Kyogre, you just lose the game. Okay. Maybe not lose the game, but... The, I don't really understand that decision. Uh, I think that helps me out a lot more, quite honestly. Uh, however, we know his Groudon's faster. I think he might just Rock Tomb here. Oh, uh, I guess I did protect Kyogre last turn, so what I said earlier wasn't necessarily correct. Ugh, I don't have a great switch in, that's the main issue. I could switch into Rayquaza, but I don't want to lose the Sash. I think the Sash is a big deal. Oh, I'm running out of time. I just Thunderbolted Origin Pulse. Yeah, he's going to Rock Tomb again. So if he doesn't have Thunder, I mean, I could just pick up the Knockout here. Um, or if I'm faster. Oh, wow. Okay. I just get the Origin Pulse off, that's going to be a fainted Groudon. Even if he does have Thunder, I mean, uh, I have Speed him there. Probably not a Speed Tie, but could be. And he did have Thunder, okay, so maybe he was assuming he'd be faster, which would make a lot of sense. But uh, I do eliminate Groudon from the field, which is pretty helpful, and now I do have Sceptile and Rayquaza. So there are going to be mind games on whether he has Tailwind on Mints or not, and whether he predicts my Protects. Uh, he didn't Mega Evolve yet, I believe. Actually, what is Sceptile's base speed? Uh, this is kind of tricky, because he can one-hit KO Sceptile. Like, I wish I had Sash on Sceptile, but obviously it's mega Um, Let's see. So, now it's like, what do I predict him to... Uh, who, do, who do I predict to protect, basically? Because uh, the play for me right now is to double up. Uh, Subtitled speeds. I could just Dragon Pulse Salamence. Who would I protect here? Oh, I hate this 50 50. Okay, I'm doubling up on Kyogre. Also, if I had Draco, that would have been nice, but obviously I don't. Solomon's Mega Evolves, okay.
Nice. Unless Kyogre Protected too, but if Kyogre Protected, then I can just double up next turn. Whew. Got the right call there. Wow, Grasslot actually just picks up the knockout. That's so nice. So I didn't actually need to double up on that. I don't know that calc very well, though. Uh, and that's going to be game. Close one. Very close one. Uh, even though I had two Pokemon at full HP, you know, subtitle is just really frail. I heard a lot of Hyper Voice might be able to even knock it out, which is kind of absurd. But uh, subtitle is just so darn frail. But it is really, really fast. I think Dragon Pulse probably picks up a one-hit KO here. Let's see. Yeah, it does. Nice. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a critical hit there. I feel like it would still pick up the knockout with Stab, but not entirely sure. So we ended up picking up a 2-0 win there, but uh, even though, you know, I had two Pokemon at full HP at the end there, definitely wasn't at that close, since if I if he protected Kyogre and attacked with Salamence, then uh, I would have lost the game there, most likely. So, uh, really good game to my opponent there. Glad that Subtile was able to finally pick up its first win there, being pretty crucial, uh, outspeeding. I do think my opponent misplayed a little bit. Uh, I felt bad because that was like a matchup where I definitely had the better tools than my opponent to win, and I didn't play very well, honestly, for the most of the match. So it was like a win where I didn't really feel like I deserved it very uh, much. Like, the Groudon turn where he switched Kyogre out into Groudon was just a turn where I really could have just instantly won the game by switching out into Rayquaza and Water Spouting, water spouting uh, but instead, you know, uh, misplayed pretty heavily and went for a Thunderbolt into that slot. But do end up picking up a win there, not going to complain. Second opponent's going to be running the Groudon Xerneas combinations, so no dual primals here, but Kangaskhan, uh, Smeargle, Salamence, and Bronzon to close it out. So, I think I might actually bring Scizor this time around because Scizor is really good against Xerneas. And Solomon's and King. Uh, not really good against those two, but it still helps out. Forgot the item on this, I should check. Life Orb. Oh, Faint. And Superpower. Huh, that's actually really interesting. Um, <laughs> Subtitle's still tempting to bring. Like, Grass Knot still does so much, and I outspeed in Dragon Pulse. Clef is Encore, I believe. Ah, this is tough. All six of my Pokemon are good in this match. Uh, I'm really I mean, Smeargle Xerneas is also kind of a big deal. Maybe Scizor Zapdos as a lead to pressure any potential Xerneas, and I can switch in to dunk the Kyogre, or dunk the, yeah, go with those two, and then Rayquaza in the back. Not gonna bring Subtile, it's, I mean, it's not bad in this matchup, but the Sash on Rayquaza, you know, being able to Mega Evolve and have Focus Sash is a big deal, because uh, I can tank an attack uh, and Dragon Ascent for a lot of damage, that's super helpful against Pokemon like Xerneas, which, you know, relies on just picking up knockouts, but, uh, I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of the matchup here, I think it's a little bit tough. Uh, we are gonna see Kangaskhan Xerneas as a lead here, though, which I would say is better for me than my opponent. Uh... Just because Scizor puts on a lot of offensive presence. Uh, we're probably going to want to see a fake out come out. I'm actually going to go for the superpower and the tailwind. I think we might see a Groudon switch in here. Even if not, like, Xerneas gets a Geomancy off. I either get my tailwind or my superpower off. And maybe I should have just bullet punched. We'll see. I mean, I think probably see a fake out go on to Scizor. Uh, could have thunderbolted. Fake out. Yeah, onto Scizor. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, uh, thunderbolt might have been the better play there, because then I can just put it in bullet punch KO range. I don't know if life or bullet punch already knocks it out currently. We do see the Geomancy go out, but that's fine. I suspect this next turn we'll see a protect from Xerneas. So the question is, do I want to read into the Protect and Superpower Thunderbolt Kangaskhan? Hmm. Because I do have the speed advantage now. Yeah, I'm going to go in on this play and double up on Kang. Uh, but he probably doesn't expect Bullet Punch to knock out. Does Xerneas protect here? Hmm. 
I would probably protect if I were my opponent. Nice. Uh, so, regardless of what Kangaskhan does here, it should be good. Yeah, we're probably going to see a double edge come out, so this is good. Nice, 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 nice. Nah, uh, maybe that wasn't worth it, though, because now I'm at minus one. I don't think that was worth it, actually. Bad play on my end. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about the my, uh, the attack drop there. I could see a Groudon switching, though, and then I could switch into Kyogre. Or maybe I want to Thunderbolt the Scizor, or uh, Xerneas. Yeah, we do see Groudon come in. Hmm... So my fear is the last one's going to be Smeargle. Because uh, with Smeargle, then you get Redirection off going. I'm going to switch into Kyogre here. And HP Water. Because Groudon is the biggest threat to my Scizor. Uh, if I can eliminate Groudon, his Xerneas only has fairy type attacks to hit my Scizor with. And I have got the Sash on the Rayquaza on the back as well. Yeah, maybe it was a better idea just to let the Kangaskhan get an attack off. Maybe Bullet Punch would have knocked it out. Uh, probably not. Could have switched into my Rayquaza there, but I want the Rain Boost to guarantee the knockout. You could protect the Groudon here, which would be a good play. But I don't think you'll want to do that. Yeah, okay, no. Uh, although, maybe I should have just stayed in with Scizor and Bullet Punched. Oh, wow, he survives. That's not good. He's going to get a Moonblast off. Uh, targets his after slot, though. Okay, that's fine. Huh. And a Fire Punch. It's actually pretty perfect for me, because now I just bring in Scizor. Yeah, uh, the surviving there is actually probably helps me more than it hurts me. Because now I can Origin Pulse, I'm not going to risk a miss, and Bullet Punch. And this is my last turn of Tailwind, I believe, so I mean, you can protect or whatever. You could switch out as well, but yeah, he's going to switch out. Okay. But that's going to be taken to Origin Pulse. Ooh, it's Bronzong, actually, is the last one. Wasn't expecting that. He does protect with Zern. Which I do think is the best play. Hmm, Bronzong makes this tricky. Origin Pulse connects. Uh, Water Spot might have just won me the game there, but don't want to risk the miss. Yeah, I mean, sorry, that doesn't make sense. Not risk the miss, I'm not thinking. Um, but Tailwind Peter's out. Okay, that's fine. think uh, I'm going to Ice Beam and Bullet Punch here. Could switch out into Groudon, but that wouldn't make much sense. Um... I think I've, I've gotten enough firepower to close this one out because Groudon's taking so much damage. Really was surprised that Hongaf from let him power water since it was boosted by the rain as well. But uh, you know, we do see Groudon's being built on the bulkier spectrum a lot of the times. I mean, max speed Groudon isn't that rare still. Uh, but it's either like your max speed and you have no bulk or a little bit bulk or you have a ton of bulk and you don't uh, you forego that speed investment. Okay, no protects coming out here. Uh... Did less than I would have liked. But he's gonna gleam. I don't think that knocks me out. That'd be really bad if it did. Okay, that was close. Although we could see a gyro ball, uh, and I didn't go for an origin pulse there. But he trick rooms. Interesting. Ah, <sighs> should have origin pulse there. Although, yeah. I mean, you could switch. Yeah. But now I can bullet punch. He's probably gonna want a gyro ball. Uh, I could just protect water spout. Yeah, he can't touch my scissor. I mean, sorry, my Kyogre right now. Uh, with Rayquaza, I've got extreme speed to knock out Xerneas and Groudon. It's gonna be a tight finish still, though. I thought we might have seen a double up onto the scissor there. Uh, Moonblast also honestly could have helped him out a little bit more as well. I guess the Trick Room, now you put on more pressure. Oh, he actually does switch out Groudon, though. Or Bronzong, I should say, into Groudon. Mm. It's going to be a really close finish. 
Does Xerneas protect? Oh, he doesn't. Dang. Actually, no. That, that helps me, because hopefully Kyogre feigns here, and now I just switch into Rayquaza. Yeah. Cool. Although that Life Orb damage is actually looking scary, too. I can take two turns. Uh, is there any reason not to make up? I could Swords Dance as well. <clears throat> Who would you switch out here? You'd want to protect and switch out into Bronzong. I could Swords Dance potentially to capitalize off that. I should superpower actually to cover the switch. Yeah, extreme speed and superpower. Grout on switching out. That's fine regardless. Although, uh, it would have been nice to get the right call there. Actually, maybe that's not fine. Oh, oh boy. That was the obvious switch in too. Not been playing very well this episode, you have to apologize, guys. Yeah, he does protect. So I get some free damage, but not sure how good free damage is really here. That was more than I expected actually. Actually, yeah, I still win, I'm pretty sure. Cause I don't faint from the recoil. So I'm just going to bullet punch Dragon Ascent, and then Extreme Speed knocks out. Uh, I don't think Groudon can take a bullet punch here either. That would be bad if it could. But you know, since Rayquaza hasn't taken any damage yet, and I've done enough damage to my opponent's entire team, I can just close it out with priority, so I think I should be good here. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I don't feel like I've played this game perfectly, really. Uh, nor did I play the first, not even perfectly, just like some turns where I didn't fully think things through. Uh, since Scizor is so key here, but that's why uh, I really like the Life Orb set too. I mean, obviously it doesn't knock out Xerneas, but puts it to uh, close enough. He actually goes for the double protect and doesn't get it, so uh, that should close out the game here. But, I don't know, I mean, since I should survive from Life Orb here, yeah, I think even if you get that double, I don't know what he could- Oh, he does have Hypnosis. <laughs> that was actually the one move that, uh... I was scared of because he doesn't he didn't he went for it without gravity being up so my opponent could still win this one hmm oh, that's scary that is very scary 60% chance to hit there um, I mean I think you have to go for that which then explains the double protect play um, my opponent trying to you got the timer. I don't think timer really... I guess you could win off timer here. Hope that I get a three turn sleep. <sighs> I wonder if Life Orb Faint knocks out the Groudon. If it does, then the game's over. Oh, actually not necessarily. No, it's not over. <sighs> this is actually really scary. Groudon comes in. Just gonna quickly check some damage. That's just 30. Bullet punch is 40, and then stab and then resist as well. I think I'm gonna faint Groudon here. And just Dragon Ascent. He does protect, okay. I don't know if Faint will knock out though, but I've, I do have the Life Orb, and this is a very offensive Scizor. <sighs> nice. But now my own Scizor faints, so I might still actually need to wake up. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Maybe I should have superpowered there, unless he hypnosis for some reason. Now he's gonna be smart in Gyro Ball. Is that a 2 a KO? Stay asleep for another turn. 
Uh, Trick Room does end here, though. I mean, I think Dragon Sight knocks him out, so I'm, I think I win this game, even with a three-turn sleep, as long as he doesn't crit me this turn. Yeah. Uh, he might be going for timer here, though. Like, if I stay asleep... No, I don't think you have enough t uh, time, though. Oh, this is really close. I think here you have to hope I stay asleep for another turn. Can you win off timer? If he has Protect on Bronzong, then he actually can. But we've seen Trick Room, Gyro Ball, Hypnosis. Last one's got to be Gravity. Unless you're running Hypnosis without Gravity, which it, then is just uh, kind of bad. Oh, I do stay asleep, though. Oh, boy. Here's the Gyro Ball. Okay, it doesn't KO me. I I don't know if like Dragon Ascent honestly knocks it out. I do wake up. Here we go. Here's Dragon Ascent coming out. It's Admin Rayquaza though. Come on, Rayquaza, you can do it. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. I mean, Mega Rayquaza is really strong, but still, I was a little bit scared there. So we do end up picking up two wins in today's episode, but uh, once again, I don't feel like I played them uh, very well, but I'm not going to complain. We're still able to come out with two wins there. Really great opponents, really great games, and some cool teams featured as well there. Uh, it's nice to get, you know, both of the common kind of core Pokemon uh, right now with Groudon, Kyogre, and then uh, or Dual Primals, and then Groudon Xerneas here. So we were able to win both. The uh, Scizor finally coming into play. Last episode, we did feature Clefairy a little bit more. This time, Scizor uh, made that big difference. Uh, Superpower, also a really cool move there, helping him picking up the knockout against Kangaskhan. And it was a really tight finish there, but we were able to pick up two wins in today's episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, leave a like if you did. Go check out Hibiki if you have not already. This is his team. Uh, awesome content creator, is one of the best European players. Uh, it's made it to day two of the World Champions chips and yeah his channel is in the description below that's gonna be it for this one i'll see you guys next time all right peace